We've made it to another Friday weekend right around the corner. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade, of course, here to give you an update on what's happening out there in the tropics. We are still fairly close to what was the peak of hurricane season. That was September 10th, and things are still fairly busy out there, even about five days after the peak of hurricane season. So we are going to continue with the threat for more of these tropical cyclones developing, and that will likely be the case for at least the next month before we start to see things kind of fall off towards the end of October and especially into November, at least historically. However, anytime during hurricane season, you can always have something popping up out there. So that's why we are here to keep you updated. Right now, we've got three systems we're monitoring out there and another potential system that could roll off of the west coast of Africa by this weekend or early next week. For now, though, we're still tracking Hurricane Lee heading towards New England and Atlantic portions of Canada. We've got Hurricane Margot in the north central Atlantic, and we have newly formed Tropical Depression number 15 in the southern portion of the central Atlantic. So we've got a lot to talk about, so let's get right to it. We've got a big portion of the New England coast under tropical storm warnings right now, and that extends into Atlantic portions of Canada over towards Nova Scotia, even some hurricane watches still over into portions of Canada because there could potentially be some hurricane force winds there. But tropical storm warnings up and down the New England coast for Lee, which is approaching from the south. It has gotten a little bit weaker. Category one hurricane, 80 mile per hour winds. However, those tropical storm force winds extend out from the center over 300 miles. So even though it is a little bit weaker, the impacts could be widespread because it's such a large system. Movement currently to the north at 20 miles per hour, and we've got pressure at 965 millibars. So Lee will continue to likely weaken a bit over the next 24 hours, and it actually is moving into cooler waters, and it will start to lose those tropical characteristics over the next 24 hours. So it is expected to make landfall right around southern portions of Nova Scotia likely by Saturday afternoon and evening as a post tropical system most likely, but it's still going to spread some impacts. The threat for coastal flooding, a little bit of storm surge, and also the potential for those 50 mile per hour wind gusts, maybe even a little stronger over towards Boston and other portions of New England for Saturday and to early Sunday. As we go through the weekend, Lee will continue weakening, pushing farther north down to 45 mile per hour winds by Sunday afternoon. So it will be a weaker system as it starts to roll away from the New England area. Let's talk about Tropical Depression 15. This is our newest system. This was Invest 97L. It is now Tropical Depression number 15 out in the Central Atlantic, and it's much further south than Lee and also Margo, and it is forecast to continue to track to the northwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So right now it is at 35 miles per hour. It's close to becoming a tropical storm. The name will likely be Nigel, and that could happen as early as this evening or tonight. So if it doesn't happen tonight, it most likely will happen over the weekend. Pressure at 1,007 millibars and wind at 35 miles per hour, but it is expected to strengthen to 45 miles per hour, and that would make it a tropical storm for Saturday afternoon, up to 70 miles per hour for Sunday afternoon, and a Category 2 hurricane by Monday afternoon with one 100 mile per hour winds and a cat three hurricane by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week with 115 mile per hour winds. So this thing will start to strengthen fairly quickly. But the good news for the US is that models are indicating another shift, another curve to the north. So this one will likely get close to Bermuda once again, but it looks like it's not going to be a big threat for Florida or the mid Atlantic coast of the US. After it passes Bermuda, we'll have to see if it gets close to New England again. But for now, it looks like Tropical Depression 15 will not be heading into the Caribbean Sea. It's not going to head into the Gulf, but still late next week, we'll have to monitor it and see if it could get once again close to the northeastern U.S. or portions of Canada. 
I want to flip back to Hurricane Lee and show you this graphic. I was talking about how large that wind field was. Tropical storm force winds extending out over 300 miles from the center. So even though it looks like Lee will make landfall in Atlantic portions of Canada, right around Nova Scotia, it's still going to spread some of that tropical storm force wind back towards Boston and portions of New England. So that's why we do still have those tropical storm warnings for portions of New England at this point. We also still have Tropical Storm Margo out there. Of course, it was a hurricane. It has weakened to a tropical storm. It's still expected to do a big circle or a big loop over the next few days and just gradually weaken. But overall, it's not expected to impact land, so we don't have to worry too much about Margo, which is now a tropical storm. So we do still have a couple of systems that we're monitoring out there, Margo, Lee, and also Tropical Depression 15. We've got another potential system that we are watching. We're expecting another tropical wave to roll off of the west coast of Africa, and it could become eventually a tropical depression or a tropical storm by next week. Right now, 0% shot for that happening over the next two days, just a 20% chance for it happening over the next week, but still an area to watch. It's going to be this area in yellow where we could see that development and then it would start to drift to the west. So right now, our biggest concern continues to be Lee impacting portions of New England over the next 24 hours, bringing that heavy rain, the threat for that coastal flooding, and also the potential for some very strong wind gusts. But next week, of course, our attention will be turned to Tropical Depression 15, which will likely be Tropical Storm Nigel and Hurricane Nigel by next week. So our models by the middle of next week, Wednesday, 7 a.m., showing likely Hurricane Nigel getting very close to Bermuda, but not getting super close to the U.S. yet. So hopefully it will stay away, but Bermuda could definitely have some impacts from Nigel by the middle of next week. So far for this hurricane season, we've had 14 named storms, five hurricanes, three major hurricanes. We are right around where we would normally be for an entire for an entire average season. But of course, we've still got the rest of September, October and November to get through. So it will likely end up being an above average season. Out in the Gulf of Mexico, pretty quiet. Caribbean, pretty quiet at this point, but still super warm water temps out there. We've got some buoy temps near 90 degrees there, middle to upper 80s for the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of readings in the 80s as well for parts of the Atlantic. So still some very warm water. So any of these additional systems that can get going will still have a lot of fuel in the form of that warm water out there to work with. So that's why we are monitoring things closely. We've got Lee and Margo Right now, the next name on that list will be Nigel, and we will likely have Tropical Storm or Hurricane Nigel over the next 24 to 36 hours out in the Central Atlantic. So make sure to stay aware, stay prepared. Nothing heading towards Southeast Texas for now, but make sure that you are up to date on everything you need to know, everything you need to do to be prepared for any tropical systems headed our way. Also, make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app. You can get the latest tropical activity reports and also your local weather. You can track what's on radar and a lot of other things when you have that Fox 26 weather app downloaded on your phone. That is your Friday tropical update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.